the Lord our righteousness. There is no disputing that that refers to the Lord Jesus Christ. In Jeremiah 23, we read that. In his days, Judah will be saved and Israel will dwell safely. This is his name by which he will be called, the Lord our righteousness. But then 10 chapters later, we hear almost the same thing being said. In those days, Judah will be saved and Jerusalem will dwell safely. And this is the name by which she will be called, the Lord our righteousness. So he, the Lord our righteousness, is the Lord Jesus Christ, but she is the Lord our righteousness as well. He and she, he and she both referred to as the Lord our righteousness by the prophet Jeremiah. And then today, God gave me a riddle that includes the answer, he and she. So listen to the song that I just wrote. It's straight out of the scripture for the most part. And um, let yourself ponder the he and she. In his days, Judah will be saved. Israel will live safely, and his name by which he'll be called is the Lord of righteousness. In those days, Judah will be saved, Jerusalem will dwell safely. shall be called is the Lord of righteousness. They both will be named in that day. The Lord of righteousness, the Lord of righteousness. They both will be named in that day. The Lord of righteousness, the Lord of our righteousness. They both will be named the Lord our righteousness. Two of them, two of them, Jeremiah 23 and Jeremiah 33. So on my channel, we talk about the Lord Jesus Christ, who is the lamb and the wife of the lamb, the two being one. Jesus only has one wife. Now many are called few chosen. I know for a fact because friends of mine have told me that They've been told by the Lord Jesus Christ that they are his bride. He has shown them, he has told them that they are his bride. They are of the Holy Spirit. They are born of the Holy Spirit. They are not the wife. There's only one wife. But just as the whole church makes up the body of Christ, it's a mystery. All those who are of the Spirit who have been chosen, many called few chosen. I mean, the, the church, many of them say that the whole church is the bride. But has Jesus said to you directly, you are my bride? If he hasn't told you directly that you are my bride, you're not his bride. But if he's told you, you are my bride, then guess what? You're his bride. But it's a mystery. There's still only one wife. Just like I was born of my mother, within me is my mother. Her DNA, within me is my father, his DNA. I'm my own person, but I'm a Freihofer. My father was a Freihofer, my mother was a Campbell. I'm a Campbell. I'm in that family, I'm of them, but still, I'm not my mother. My mother's the one who was married to my father. 
Does that make sense? If you can even accept that there's just one wife of the lamb. I mean, that's what the scripture teaches. We're taught that the, the lamb has a wife and she's made herself prepared, which means she had to get prepared, which means at some point she wasn't prepared. Maybe things are gonna be happening at the end that we're not expecting, just like they weren't expecting Jesus when he came on the scene. Maybe some things are a little bit veiled. Maybe the term veil is used because there's a wife involved. Just something to think about. I mean, there are two who will be called the Lord our righteousness. There will be two. Jesus and some other person who's referred to as a she. There's only one Holy Spirit. There's only one Jesus. There's only one God the Father. And the three are one. All right. He and she. So today, the Lord gave me the scripture. For when they say peace and safety, then sudden destruction will come upon them. That's what I heard today. Well, the scripture, for when they say, I knew it was a riddle. And the answer to the riddle is... For when they say, from 1 Thessalonians 5, 3, 1 Thessalonians 5, 3, there's the 153, 1 Thessalonians 5, 3 is the day of the Lord. One fifty three. Just something curious, I figured I would point out. For when they say, whenever there's a riddle, and I solve it, what I do is I unjumble the letters to say what the Lord would have us hear. T R F W T R F W that is me. Tara Ran Farhofer Wesselowski. I am the one who has the answer to the riddle. This is what I'm saying. A O A O. AO is for the Alpha Omega. In the Greek, the Alpha Omega. In the Hebrew, the Aleph Tav. But the Alpha and Omega is the Lord Jesus Christ. A and O, though. We've got two Ys. Two Ys. It's riddle. So, Y. Two Ys. We have two Ys. So why two? Why is there both an alpha and an omega? There's a one and a two. He is the alpha and the omega. He is the beginning and the end. He is the first and the last. He is two. So why two? Because there is a he, H-E, and N. He N S H E. He and she. So why are there two? Why Alpha and Omega as well? Because there's a he and she. For when they say, all the letters have been used. There is a he and she. So why two? It's a bit of a riddle as well. The Alpha and Omega. Alpha being the first, Omega being the last. First and last. This is how Jesus is referred to. He is the first, he is the last. He is the beginning. He is the end. He is the Alpha. He is the Omega. Right, there are some things going on here. First, he is the first beginning and the Alpha. Second, he is the last, the end, and the Omega. Let's look at the last and an Omega first. L-E-O. L-E-O. Leo is the constellation Lion. 
We know that at the end, Jesus comes as the Lion of Judah. And remember, the Alpha and Omega is one. Well, who else is two in one? The Lamb and the wife of the Lamb. They are two in one. So the last, the end, and Omega, Leo, is the constellation lion. The lion of Judah comes at the end. But let's look at the first beginning and Alpha. We know that the Lord Jesus Christ is the Word. And he is the one who came up with, created, the Aleph Bet, the Hebrew alphabet. Well, the first letter in the Bible is B. So the first sentence in the Bible starts, they read right to left, Bereshit, Bara, Elohim, Et. Bereshit is in the beginning, Bara is created, Elohim is God, Et is an untranslatable in the English word, Et. Bereshit, in the beginning, created. So it starts with a B, a bait, B-E-T, to B-T, I am T. It starts with a B, then another B, then an E, in the English E. But in the Hebrew, it's an Aleph, A, Aleph, A. So Elohim starts with an Aleph. And the word E-T starts with an L-F. Well, we know that E-T is the Aleph Tav, which is the same as saying the Alpha and Omega. Aleph Tav is the Hebrew version of the Greek Alpha Omega. So let's just look. There's a little bit of a, of a riddle. And I'm a decoder, so I'm going to show you. In the beginning, God. B, E, B, E, and then B, E, B, E, B, E, two, two B, in the English, two B, two B. It's a riddle. So first and the last he is, he's the beginning, but first came the letter B, which is the second letter, came first. And then the Aleph, which is in the Greek, the Alpha, came third and fourth, respectfully, at the beginning of words. Three and four is seven. But the Aleph, which is the first letter, Not used first in the Bible, but it's the first letter of the word God and E-T, which is the same as saying Christ. So to be, this is a riddle. There's a little bit of a riddle. I'm speaking a riddle to you. To be. To be. I be is the same as saying I am. So there are two who be, two who exist. Why two? Let's look at the word two. There's an alpha and omega, a one and a two. Omega would be number two. So why two? T, W, O. T.W. could stand for the wife, two. So a couple of weeks ago, there was a riddle that the Lord gave us for the words, the Lord our righteousness, used two times because there are two who are called the Lord our righteousness. And every one of you need to hear this. So we use the letters A-E-I-O-U as well as the letters the Lord our righteousness 
as well as the letters, the Lord, our righteousness. We use all those letters to see what God would have us hear. A for and, E for every, one, I is a Roman numeral one, O for of, U for Y-O-U, and every one of you needs to hear what I'm about to say. The first thing we're going to write is the word Iesus, I-E-S-O-U-S. Iesus is the Greek for the name Jesus, Iesus. I E S O U S Jesus. So we're speaking to Jesus first. You are, you are, you are our O U R O U R. You are our door. D O O R. Where's the D? D D-O-O-R. You are our door. It is the year of the door, the year in the Hebrew calendar, 5884, the year of the door. And we know the Lord Jesus Christ is our door. He is the only way that we get reconciled to God. He is the one who we must go through to enter the kingdom of God. He is the door. Well, who is the Aesus? He is the, T-H-E, T-H-E, he is the A-O, the Alpha and Omega, A-O. For when they say, Tara ran far for Weslowski, the A-O, why is there two, why is there a he and she? Because there's an Alpha and an Omega. So Jesus, the one who is our door, He is the A-O, the Alpha and Omega. Now this next part of the answer is to you, the person who's listening to me solve these riddles right now. You. This is what every one of you need to hear. The Lord reigns, T-H-E, Lord, L-O-R-D, L-O-R-D, We're using all the letters. The Lord reigns. R-E-I-G-N-S. R. Let's find an R. R. E-I-G-N-S. The Lord reigns. And what else does he do? He. H-E. There's an H, there's an E, he lets, L-E-T-S, here's an L, here's an E, T, it's hard to see the letters as I get through them, he lets her, H-E-R, H E R where's an R there's an R he lets her sing S I N G S there's an S I where's an I where's an I there's an I N there's an N There's a G, there's an S. I said the S one too many times. We will use it in a moment. That S. He lets her sing to T O T O to who? To us. He lets her sing to us. You. And then the S right there that I had already crossed out. Now, A-E-I-O-U, the Lord, our righteousness, all those letters are used. The Lord, our righteousness, all those letters are used. Two who are called the Lord, our righteousness. Jesus, you are our door, the Alpha and Omega. And this is for every one of us to hear. The Lord reigns and he lets her sing to us. Her? 
of the he and she, the alpha and omega being two. Why two? Because there's a he and a she. Jeremiah 23, 6 says, Now this is his name by which he will be called, the Lord our righteousness. He, Jeremiah 33, 16. In those days Judah will be saved and Jerusalem will dwell safely. And this is the name by which she will be called, the Lord our righteousness. She. He and she. Just something to think about. God bless you.